Hi, my name is MK Williams and I'm a published author and today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite thing in the whole world, which is the library. Who doesn't love the library? I mean, I can literally read as many books for free as my eyeballs can handle. It's just the best place ever. And it's not just great for any person off the street, but it's especially great for authors. So I've heard a few authors make comments like, why would I want to put my book in the library? Then people don't pay for it. That's really short-term thinking. If you're looking to just make a lot of money and you've picked writing books, I there are so many other ways that you can make a lot of money by doing any literally anything else. But if you're in this for the long game, if you truly want to be an author and you love to write and you want your books out there and you want to do this for a career, then being in the library, having your books on library shelves is absolutely necessary in my opinion. Um, you know, this is where people go to look for books. This is a record that, you know, what was a big book that came out several years ago? Well, the library definitely has it. Um, and it's where communities go. It's where people look to discover things sometimes. Instead of just searching online for hours, they're just like, well, I'll go to the library, see what they have. So the library is a great uh, destination for avid readers to go to. And if you write books, then you want to be in front of avid readers. So there's different ways to get your book into um, the library. So you could have be a bestseller and they'll just order it. Or you have to request that they order it, which is probably what most people watching this channel are going to be doing. So first thing you need to do is make sure that your book is available for the libraries to put on order. So this is usually through Overdrive, Baker and Taylor, uh, Smashwords is set up to be able to distribute to them. Um, Ingram is also set up to distribute to libraries. Amazon is not officially set up to distribute to libraries. If somebody asks the library to buy a book, usually they're asked for the ISBN um, or a link to it. Um, and if somebody puts an Amazon link in there, the library can still purchase from Amazon. It's just not their preferred method. They want to go through Overdrive. They want to go through Baker and Taylor. Um, so you want to make sure your book is accessible to those networks. So once the libraries can access your book, you need to let your audience know that your book's available everywhere, uh, great books are sold, as well as available for order on li for libraries, um, or that they can request it at their local library. So if people don't know that's an option, they might just be looking at their budget that month and think, I don't have room to spend 10, 20, however many dollars on this book, like I have a lot of other things. But if you say, oh, you can request it at your library, they might be like, oh, sweet. That took two minutes of my time and now I'm going to get to read this book for free. Um, so most libraries have a method for members to suggest books. Usually these are behind the login that you have to go through. So it's just for people who are members of that library. A few libraries will say just email the librarian and ask for it, but usually you want to say, hey, I live here, I would like to read this book. Um, one thing that some local libraries have done, and I'm very thankful that my local library has done, thank you, Tampa, Tampa, Florida, Hillsboro Public Library Collective, Tampa County, Hillsboro County. It's a really long acronym, but Tampa, Florida, you rock. You are awesome at uh, supporting local authors. So not only do they have a local author section in some libraries, I actually had a friend who said, oh, I went to the library to find your book and I couldn't find it. So I went up to the librarian and they said, oh no, that's in our local author section. So that was really cool that they did that, that they had all of the local Tampa authors listed there. What's kind of nice is because Stephen King's Summer Stone in Sarasota, he's sometimes considered a local author. So kind of a big deal. I'm on the same shelf as Stephen, but you know, benefits of living down here in Florida. Um, another thing that they've done is they put a little sticker on it. So you know how libraries will have the stickers for sci-fi and romance or whatever. They actually put a local author sticker on it. So now if somebody else gets it at a different branch of the library, um, they'll still see it's a local author, which is really cool. And then they've hosted events before uh, where we were able to set up our books for sale in the library, which was very nice. And they took photos of us and they put up posters in the library. So they have these really great programs. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if Tampa, Florida is doing this. No offense, Tampa, but you small time. Um, I'm sure many other libraries around the country are doing this to be able to support local authors and reading initiatives. So they've been great. So thank you so much, Tampa. And thank you to all the local libraries that do great things to support local authors. Um, so hopefully by hearing about all of this, you are just thinking, I want to get my book into every library possible. This is amazing. Again, the way to do that is to just let your audience know that they can request it. Let, it, let them know it's available to them. Um, do not go and abuse the system. Like the library exists for people to be able to go there as a community to learn. It does not exist to buy your books. 
So uh, make sure that you are going about everything ethically. Um, you are not kind of breaking any rules or bending any rules. Um, make sure that you are uh, getting your audience to want to read the book and then from there they'll take the action to request it from their library. I hope that you have found this helpful. I hope that it is inspiring you to get your book into more places. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that helps YouTube know that this was helpful and get in front of other authors like us. And now you can go back to writing your book.